So now suppose that we want to plot a chart like this. And as you can see, for example, in this chart, we have five points. This is point one, this is point two, this is point three, this is point four, and this is point five. And in order to plot this chart in Python, we need the coordinates of each point. For example, the x coordinate of point one is one, so that's it. The x coordinate of point two is zero. The x coordinate of point three is two, so that's it. The x coordinate of point four is three. The x coordinate of point five is four. And for example, the y coordinate of point one is one, the y coordinate of point two is two, and etc. So first of all, we should define the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So the x coordinates are one, zero, two, three, and four. And the y coordinates are one, two, three, one, and two. And in order to plot all this stuff in Python, we want to use a package called matplotlib, which is a famous package for plotting in Python. So we simply type import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, that's it. And then we simply type plt.plot because you want to plot something, you want to plot a chart, and we should pass our data, I mean the x coordinates and the y coordinates, and the color of our chart is going to be black, c means a color. So that's it. And then finally I simply type plt.show because you want to show the chart, and if I run a code, you can see here's the output. And also remember that if you delete this line, and if you run a code, you can't see the chart and the chart wouldn't appear. So remember to put this line in order to show the chart. So now once again, if I run the code, you can see now we can see the chart because we have put this line. So now we need to add these circles, I mean these blue circles, which are called markers. So let's do that. In order to do so, we need to add another argument, which is called marker. So we simply type marker, and the marker which we want to use is a circle. So I pass O, small O, not capital O. Remember that you shouldn't pass capital O, you should pass small O. That's it. And now if I run a code, you can see that here are our markers. But we need to change the marker face color, the marker face color, so MFC means marker face color. The marker face color which you want to use is blue and the marker size which you want to pass is, for example, let's say 10. So now if I run the code, you can see here's the output and if you want to make the marker a little bit bigger, we can pass, for example, 20. And if I run the code, you can see here's the output, which is exactly this one. But now suppose that you want to add these labels, I mean X and Y labels, and also this title. But before that, let's press enter here in order to see all the lines. So that's it. And in order to add this label, which is the label of the X axis, we should simply type plt.x label because it is the label of the X axis. That's it. And the label which you want to choose, for example, is X. And the Y label is going to be, for example, Y. And also the title is going to be simple line chart plus markers, that's it. And now if I run the code, you can see here is the output, which is exactly this one. And finally, let's talk about how to plot something like this. And as you can see, the edge color of the markers is blue and the marker face color is light blue. So the marker face color, I should pass, for example, light blue because I want to choose light blue for the marker face color. But in order to change the edge color, I can pass MEC, it means marker edge color. So I want to pass blue. So now if I run the code, you can see here is the output, which is exactly this one. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.